Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, let me wish you a very very happy new year. It's 2022 and this is the first video of 2022 and my seventh year of being um, on YouTube. So, <laughs> and this is the new 2022 background and it's not fully final. We still have a lot of work to do. Like I told you last year, I'm in the process of changing and upping my studio and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not going to procrastinate this year. This year I took charge and I ordered a few things which looks so beautiful by the way in the background. Yeah, so this is it. I ordered a new desk. So we have all my drawers here. I will definitely do another studio tour because I have so much more to show you. All right, anyway, I have been waiting to sit on this very chair in Mumbai Sri and talk to you guys about my trip, try some new makeup and just like sit with you. Today, I'm going to be trying some brand new makeup that I got from the US. You know what? This time I didn't get to go to Sephora. A little bit, I did go and pick up just a few things, but I didn't do my full-blown Sephora shopping. A, because I didn't have any space in my luggage, like zero space in my luggage because it was the winter and I carried too many jackets, etc. You don't need to know that. So I went to Target on the last day of flying out and I picked up just like a random selection of items, which I'll show you guys right here. I have like the tweezer, I have some Milani blush. I will take you through it as we go on. All right, babes. So we're gonna go in with the primer for, we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> 2022, there's so much. I have to tell you, there's so much that is in plans. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I will begin today with this primer. This is the Becca uh, First Light Priming Filter. It's a very good primer. It really leaves the skin very glowy. So that's what I'm going to do as my first step. This gives you a really nice luminous base. Okay, my skin has been so dry lately. Honestly, extremely dry and i just have been battling it just putting a lot of beauty oils and stuff like that but it's still like taking time to get there and yeah that's about it i think everything is gonna take time my body my skin my routine everything has to come back to its normal self i feel like i've not been home in such a long time it's been like one and a half months and you'd think there was a less time to be in america but it was so long like we traveled so much you guys we just constantly were on the road driving and everything um if you followed me you must have seen our stories i have a few travel vlogs that you can catch up on of us just like driving down the road new york la it was just so fun filled and always up and about so i just felt like it was a never ending trip <laughs> which was fun but you know sometimes ghar ki yaad aati hai, dude like i don't know it was all in all um a fantastic trip let me tell you i don't know if we would have ever seen so much of, of america otherwise let me tell you how many places we we visited i wrote it down because i knew i'd forget new york la san diego las vegas san francisco sacramento monterey santa barbara austin miami 10 places 10 places in one and a half months so you can imagine like how there was no routine and like you know we had to catch up with work in the night whereas it was day here so all of that and managing all of that was like a bit much but dude we had some stellar experiences some beautiful photographs spent time with Akhil's like brother over there and their doggy ghost which all of you know so yeah it was a fun fun trip but I'm very very happy to be back home and eating ghar ka khana finally dude hot dal chawal does something to you bro on another level like that feeling i think khali hum samjhenge aur koi nahi so for my base i'm gonna pick up this product this is the elf camo cc cream color correcting full coverage natural finish it's got spf 30 sunscreen in this as well elf is a vegan and cruelty free brand which is amazing uh this is in the shade light 280n okay with neutral and warm undertones so i just randomly picked this up in their office i went to meet elf and they were like Pick from the board, whatever you want. And I was just like, oh my God, you guys. So I visited um, Elf in LA and it was so beautiful. It was so amazing meeting the team. And they gave me this. I don't know if we have this. I don't think so. But I just, I've, I've wanted to use this ever since I had it. So this is the first time I'm going to be using this on my skin. It comes with this pump. We're going to, I hope this uh, matches me because I did not try it out. It's perfection. Warm and neutral undertones are exactly what my tone is. Like I fall right in between warm and neutral. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. sponge. Such a good sponge. It just became so big. Look, I just ran this under the water and it just became big. Oh wow, that blended just smoothly right into the skin. 
it is a CC cream after all so so this basically gives you an airbrushed finish whereas a moisturizer and full coverage foundation depending on your needs apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply every two hours and honestly the coverage is not bad like that is some beautiful coverage right there for a CC cream I remember using the pawn CC cream BB cream <laughs> yeah BB cream and it was good I love that shit like that was my jam <laughs> but this is much better it's more leaning towards the foundation but not really a foundation it's for the skin it's got sunscreen it's got like good coverage wow this is the kind of product we need in this lockdown situation because nobody wants to wear full coverage anything at this moment wow okay that is beautiful elf can we please get this in india if we don't have this thank you very much i think we are in love and we need this Okay, so I got this concealer at the drugstore in Target. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Okay, I've heard a lot about this, so I picked this up. This is in the shade Buff Beige. Okay, randomly, if you saw me in Target on the last day, you'd be like, what is going on? Is she on drugs? <laughs> I was literally like, boom, 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 boom. Like just picking up because I had like such little time and I was just picking off the rack. I didn't even see the shade. I was just like, okay, this. And I picked it up. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hope and see that this is my shade or this is like the brighter concealer to use underneath my natural concealer. Are baap rahe, kya ho ya isko? Oh my gosh, what is, what? What is happening? Yeah, no, that's not, that's a fail. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next concealer. My hands are like red. I'm taking the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This is in the shade number eight. It looks like an eraser. So can I have like a big rubber on the side? And I'm just going to put that on the screen. Okay, that's stunning. Okay, this is the kind of concealer that you use underneath the brighter concealer. So this concealer will go first and then you pick up a brighter concealer, which I was hoping would be the cover girl, but now it's not. It blended like a dream. It covered my dark circles. Amazing. Oh, it opened. Ah! <laughs> okay, it opened. Perfect. This can be the topper concealer. This is the cover girl. There you go. I would not have been able to put this as is anyway it's more like a brightening concealer this year began for me sleeping through the day so i got back on the 28th i believe i'm not sure like around that time before new year's i was heavily jet lagged and it takes me so long you guys to sort of blend into the natural time that it was it's ridiculous i was perpetually awake for days like almost a week till like 6 a.m. So there were so many things I shopped for at 4 a.m. I ate so much junk and I would be running on very low sleep, like four hours of sleep a day, things like that. So it was quite hard for me to adjust like generally, but I think now finally, like today is the day I'm finally feeling like I can, I'm back on the Indian standard time. <laughs> I was stuck in the Eastern Standard Time for a very, very long time. Okay, this concealer is fabulous. Both of the concealers are actually sitting very well on the skin. CoverGirl is not available in India. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, so we have two loose powders here to set the rest of my face. Um, I picked up again the CoverGirl powder. This is the Clean Professional Powder. It's 105 Translucent Fair. So there were two, one was tinted and one was translucent. I picked up the translucent one. And then we have the famous Air Spun powder. This is the Coty Air Spun in the shade Honey Beige. Okay, so we have two. I don't want to try the cover girl. I somehow want to try this because this is like a cult, cult favorite. So many people using this when I initially began YouTube, like a lot of you remember this. This is so plasticky, by the way. Ooh, it comes with a floofy poofy. Oh, it's got a heavy smell. I remember that also. People said it just had a very heavy like, grandma powder vibes and it does. It smells like your grandmama's like after bath powder. Okay, that's, that's the color. I'm gonna pick this up with my beauty sponge itself. The smell is very overpowering. It is literally your grandmother's powder. It's just that very pawns into 10, like, I don't even know. Whew, that's heavy, baby. I love doing my brows now. I recently went to meet Benefit when I was on my trip as well. I met them in San Francisco and it was such a fun time. We went on a mini tour of San Francisco. We saw the Golden Gate. It was highly, highly foggy. I met the founder's daughter, Annie, and we were just 
hanging out she was telling us the history of benefit and how it came to be and there was such a fun thing to know you know it was just like started by her mum and her aunt like two of these like women a powerhouse women who just began a brand a makeup like a beauty brand back in the day you know and it's just something that's so incredible to know that two people put in their hard work blood sweat and tears and made it a legacy so they introduced us to their brow stylist and he did my brows and it was absolutely epic like i fell in love with how he did my brows um he waxed my brows and like got it to look thick itself i told him i really like bushy modeled like pulled up brows as opposed to very thin brows and he sort of like waxed them and i just learned a lot of tips and tricks from the benefit office as well and then i was like shit man now my brows look good they frame my face so now i enjoy doing it I don't thread my brows a lot. I haven't for a while ever since I've done it from the benefit office. I haven't come back to India and threaded my brows at all. I just love how messy, unruly and thick it is. I just love it just is. So if I had to go for my threading, I would just like thread the bottom half and like clean up the top and that will be it. So I want to like maintain this like unevenness here. I think it looks pretty stellar. So, I'm taking the precisely my brow in the shade number 5. Okay, this is my favorite. brow product from their collection and i'm just going to fill the empty gaps i also have to fill very less because i have hair growing everywhere now which is awesome i like this bit to be very precise so that's why i draw a straight line and i buff it out wait this is somewhat uh the brow but now i'm going to push the brow up Okay and I'm taking the um 24 hour brow setter by Benefit once again and what I'm going to do is just push upwards and outwards and you can automatically see the Mozzel brow what else yeah I'm sure there are good brow gels in the market I just have to test it out now that I'm into brow gels I can actually look up some drugstore brands as well and see what is great out there in the market because right now I just know Benefit love I just love love this Okay, I'm just gonna dust this powder away. This is the Elf. It's an Elf brush, again. Oh no! I mean, it definitely set my face. It's white, if you can see this portion. And you might think, Mars, that's beautiful and brightening, but I think it's it's too much in person as well. It's got it's got a little bit of a gray. Mm, I won't say gray. It's got like a pinkish gray undertone. which is not suiting my skin in specific like this may suit some other skin tone i think this honey beige color i don't know if it comes in many colors or whatever but yeah i don't think this is the powder for me i think i can set my face with this just like loosely set my face i don't think i feel i like this powder no 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 i'm not a fan okay i have this city minute 5th avenue sunset palette by maybelline uh this i got in india uh i just had a pr sitting there so i just picked it up i'm using all the products that i got in pr and some i picked up from the drug store so it's like a very miss and hit sort of a thing i don't even know what i'm trying so this is the palette it looks pretty neutral and nice like a color scheme that i could typically go for so i'm going to pick up uh, my blending brush and i'm just going to take this color right here i'm just going to create ooh that's pigmented I like palettes like these. Just you can something you can just like travel with. You honestly don't need more than these many shadows typically. You know, unless you want like a full blown palette and one palette you're all universal palette. You would literally just need like five six shadows and then you're good to go to create any sort of bold look or simple look. I don't usually like traveling with such big palettes myself. So I'm going to be picking up this shadow, this glitter, beautiful glitter shadow and putting that in the center. Like I'm pretty much done. <laughs> this is a great palette. Like, what is this city mini palette? Uh, Fifth Avenue Sunset. I always wonder why they give this. You know, now I'm gonna actually put it to the test. Yeah, putting this is not necessary. Final thoughts on this palette? It's a great palette to have. It's not a must. Like, if you miss out on this, you'll be okay. So I have the Sky High mascara from Maybelline, and this mascara, so you need. Um, it's not available. I picked up two more as backup because I was like, I require this mascara for as long as I can use it. It is such a good drugstore mascara. It like lifts and like. Let me do the Tweezerman lash curler. This is so spoken about. Like I've seen so many makeup artists talk about the Tweezerman being the best, and it's rose gold. We love a rose gold moment. Okay, 
it feels very cheap though i'll tell you that it's not heavy at all super like plasticky it did lift my lash but this mascara is gonna do all the trick i'm telling you you don't even need a lash color for this mascara and it's i hope it's gonna be launching soon in india i have no idea do you see this that is this mascara it is beyond unreal it literally feels like you're wearing a bunch of falsies and you're just not okay for bronzer i'm gonna take this one right here this is the the elf bronzer in the shade perpetually tan i'm taking the elf brush itself this is the angled brush it's not a contour it's a bronzer but you know that's nice and warm it's actually really nice i'm just gonna blend it out <laughs> very beautiful it's like a an orange undertone very beachy sun kissed bronzer vibe i'm taking the benefit hula mini bronzer it's like the mini baby and there's a mini brush that comes with it obviously that's excellent you guys know i love this look at this your nose is contoured you're done you're done it's so fast it's like the best nose contour brush of life it's already the line is already made for you all you have to do is like draw it um okay you know what for my eyes i think i'm gonna do something a little more i'm taking the elf glitter in pinky swear it's like an eyeshadow glitter so i'm gonna take that and put that all over my lid for some extra shine okay that is beautiful it's got like big chunks of glitter that actually stand out and make the eyeshadow pop a lot okay are you ready to see the lashes i got so the first one i got is the ardell naked lashes this is how it looks i've already used this before it's such a good pair of lash you guys like it's super thin band very wispy very light on the eyes you can't even tell you're wearing it i got two of them okay and then i got the iconic light 100 synthetic falsies by house of lashes this was also in target and i this is so pretty as well it's just got a thin band with like a wing liner towards the edge and then i got this one which is kiss lashes looks so natural lightweight and comfortable these are the ones again it's from small to long it's like a winged one so i've seen these in youtubers like videos recommendations hauls and stuff so i remembered them and i just wanted to get them so the lashes seem like it wouldn't fit um so i cut a little bit from the back okay so while this glue is drying and we're putting our lashes on let's talk about 2022 and how we're gonna be our best selves because every year that's how it is okay i know it's a bunch of hoo-ha it's a bunch of like cliche shit but i feel like we should talk about it and every year when you begin you need to begin with a spirit like this 2021 was like just sitting on a boat hoping to reach december 31st so that next year we don't see any of the losses that we saw in 2021 i know a lot of us are hoping or were hoping for an overnight change like first january 2022 will just be a whole new world and we would start our lives however our lives have begun it's something that can't stop we have to feed ourselves we have to go to work like all of that but let's just take a step back and just like realign this year okay i feel like if some of you have still walked into january with the 2021 baggage just like halt for a bit wait uh, get a notebook out get something out just see what your vision is for 2022 what do you want to see happen in your life um it's never too late to manifest it's never too late to sort of visualize the things that you want to see work in your life you know if you've missed out that opportunity of writing it in december 31st because you thought you know what i always try it never works out why should i try this year um no the whole point is trying the whole object of this exercise is to keep trying and never give up on yourself right um if you've had a down year if you've had a year of loss whether it came whether it was people whether it was jobs friends partners firstly i'm so sorry that happened to you because it is very painful loss of any kind is painful because we're attached to it so much right let's work on gaining ourselves back because i feel like a lot of us lost our own selves in 2022 and 21 combined we let go of the things that made us who we are and it's a great exercise even though you don't achieve them let me just tell you it's not a punishment if you don't achieve them you're not a failure if you don't achieve them but trying is everything you need to try if you don't try you've given up on yourself and that's not who we are okay that's not who we are and that's not who we're gonna be this year so all you have to do is just write like i also did i wrote a bunch of goals very achievable simple goals for this year i'm not gonna write goals like i want to climb mount everest like that's not a goal that's important to me <laughs> example hypothetically i'm not priorita prioritizing that in my life travel 20 countries no read 50 books no like i used to do that but it's not achievable 
it's something that is aspirational it's far fetched you can do it maybe but is it your priority reading 50 books is that your priority maybe not maybe you need a better job today maybe you need a partner right maybe you need to look for love maybe you have to improve your relationship with your family anything that takes priority over anything else write that down first let's do that let's begin as you're listening to me i hope after this video we do this exercise and we get the year going fresh when you always visual like when you see points written down it can be on a board i have a massive board let me show it to you i purchased this board from amazon it's a white board i'm going to get some markers hang it on the wall and write down my vision here write down basic goals write down like things that i need to achieve on a daily basis right i will put these points down so that i work towards them and when i wake up it's the first thing i see this doesn't have to be a big white board it can be a small tiny notebook it can be your phone preferably write it down with your hand like i i'm not a very digital person i don't like typing shit down i like to write stuff down get a notebook get a fresh notebook and start with 2022 goals try doing quarter goals okay because they're much more easier they're spread out you have time to finish them so jan feb march is one quarter april may june is another quarter july august september october november december so you have four quarters in the year and you want to align your goals quarterly right so you be like from now to march okay i want to read three books very achievable three books one book a month i want to start looking for i want to quit my old job i should be able to do it in the next 3 months you quit your job any month you can you gain the courage because now that you've written it down quit my job quarter 1 you have to quit in quarter 1 you have to strike that goal out once you're done with it right you will work towards it because you've written down when you write it down you hold yourself accountable you're like i can't let this carry on to the next month i have to quit so that sort of gives you like the courage yourself to walk out and be like hey i want to quit this year i choose me I want to choose a better job. I want to be happy. Only thing you have to do is walk one step at a time. No one's telling you to do everything at one spot, one time. It's only one foot after the other. One foot after the other. That's how you start walking, right? Even as a child, it's always one foot after the other. There's so be I'm so glad I picked these up. Let's continue our talk. First, let me put on some blush. I'm taking the Milani blush. This is in the shade Nude Kiss. Okay, I just randomly pick it out. I don't know. It's it probably is a cream blush. Um and then in the second quarter, which is April, May, June, you will try to look for another job. Okay? So, one step at a time. If your goal is get fit in 2022, very vague. Don't say get fit. Get fit matlab kya? Main fit like I'm fit today. I don't need to like need to work out, but I want to be fitter. So, you will write get fit in 2022 subtopic get more toned any body part that you want to work on right lose um lose 5 kgs in the next quarter okay put down numericals put down numbers put on specifics so you can tackle the specifics get a job in second quarter maybe advertising or finance like just write specific topics so that you're not wasting time looking for 10 jobs advertising will cut your search into half and you'll only be looking for advertising jobs or media or whatever that is for you so make sure you are specific when you're writing your goals okay the more achievable you make your goals the more prouder you are of yourself for completing those goals don't set yourself up for failure we set goals that are so unrealistic for ourselves that we hurt ourselves at the end of the year we're like इसमें से कुछ भी नहीं किया मैंने मतलब सब ट्राई किया कुछ भी कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ मेक श्योर यू आर पुटिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस गोल्स इन द कंप्लीटेड कॉलम बाय 2023 okay it has to be check marked and completed every quarter that's how you can grow towards becoming the best version of yourself that's it that's it this pretty fairly simple right still january you still have the two months to the quarter write achievable goals make different sort of like personal and work goals personal goals could be fitness related it could be relationship related it could be cutting friends out of your life cut friends out of my life which friends do you want to cut out name those friends cut them out let them go out of your life there is no time for drama this year there is no time for me to beg for your attention to give you validation to give you space to like i don't have time for that i have myself to look after i have goals to achieve i have a career to go after i have to become somebody right and time is passing you by every single year you're getting older you are not getting younger so don't waste time on people who are not willing to be on that path with you 
you know you need people who are going to grow with you who have the same vision goals in their own life and who are not laid back who are not wasting time who are not like yeah all of those you know what i mean you know who you are you know who you are okay so this is a cream blush i'm just gonna take it with this back brush and i'm just going to put that on my cheek so nice i like cream blushes it's very off from my eyes and bronzer it's like very pink but it works with finger and brush that's great i'm going for the cutesy look okay i'm going for the cheek very cute everyday sort of a look but you want to choose like significant goals as well towards the end of the year so obviously these book things get fit and all wo to ho jayega tujhe kya bada karna hai is saal what is your like big thing that you're trying and you've seen for your life and you're like now i'm like 30 abhi main kuch karungi zindagi mein i want to buy a car for example just like things like this okay put it down put it down even if you don't achieve it you move it on to the next year this life is not ending okay you push it to the next year and you then start working towards it at least when you list them down you already completed the work for them as you get to the end of the year so there's only very little work remaining when you carry forward your goals to the next year i would really like if you complete all your like smaller goals um and make sure they are like very minute even if you're like fix my relationship with my brother fix the relationship with my mother whatever like these are goals as well you think it's just like getting the best job winning employee of the month wo sab goals hain lekin jab hum chote goal banate hain to achievable hona chahiye that's how we feel happy at the end of the year and you don't feel like a loser like you know that's the only thing lift yourself up blush makeup looking fantastic we're moving on to highlighter i'm taking the benefit tickle highlighter stunner it's stunner it's a very pixie pink highlighter wow <laughs> that's gorgeous that is so stunning so nice it's a vibe it's definitely left a cast like you can see this gray line so we'll blend that out in a second i picked up this brand new lip liner it's the nyx professional lip pencil in the shade new truffle um again this is a last minute purchase i remember just like picking this up in such a hurry okay um all of you feeling demotivated this year to work out feeling demotivated look i'm on the same boat i haven't started my workout this year at all so my trainer is not available for 2 months so i'm very heavily dependent on a trainer like i can't go and work out myself and like mujhse nahi hota ye sab so i know how difficult it is so but i have to do it like even if it's at home and your gym is shut i'm guilty of that too and i've put on 3 kgs nicely from america and i've come <laughs> eating so much carbs over there like you have to feel good like feel sexy feel amazing like it's all about feeling you can be any size you want but make sure that your health is in check if you're healthy and you're feeling solid no one can tell you anything nobody has a right to tell you anything of tujhe weight lose karna padega tujhe weight gain karna padega kisi ki nahi suno pehle to listen to your own voice all you have to do is work out pay attention to your fitness and feel good the day i feel good i've achieved my goal i have to start my workout as well so i'm on the same boat as you guys i am not like some climbed on to 2022 with shining stars and like productivity for the win like nay nee, i am i've been sleeping through the first week of 2022 on my couch <laughs> so very realistically i have uh, not been very productive this year this year one of this week so chill don't be so hard on yourself firstly wow i knew this was going to be my lip liner i knew it when i saw the color baby this is one of the school tone colors which is my favorite it's like nude truffle if this if this is in india you should get it it is the exact dupe for huda beauty flirt the one that i love a lot one lipstick that is like very dark and i don't know if this is the color that will suit me right now but this is the elf seriously satin cider lipstick this is the color i have a gloss as well that i want to try it's a plumping lip gloss i don't like plumping lip glosses at all i don't know i don't like the minty fragrance this is the pout bomb plumping lip gloss with vitamin e this is from uh, makeup revolution i love the packaging it's giantest applicator glossy if you if you love like a plumping sort of lip and a minty flavor it's a great lip gloss just by the way it's just me all right guys so this is the final result this is totally my vibe very very in my like comfort zone because <laughs> all the colors were like neutral warm i just love this warmth thank you so much for watching i appreciate you i love you i really hope you begin 2022 with a great bang i feel like this year needs you it needs us to be better to be the best version of ourselves and just like kill it you know and when i say kill it i don't mean 
like it's time to get up go 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 like that's not what i mean i feel like take some time cut some time for yourself like relax fall in love with yourself again can i just tell you like i have i totally feel like i fell off the bandwagon of self care i feel like it's been so much of everything else and like traveling and everyone else and setting up mesic beauty and doing this and that and i'm just like self care has gone off for me like i don't remember the last time i had like absolutely one hour to myself where i'm not watching tv you know and i feel like i've lost that and i feel like that's okay <laughs> i can get it back the fact that i am i don't need to be hard on myself is a lesson we need to learn this year breathe i think this year is going to be the first half of the year at least is going to be slightly challenging and we're all used to it but it's just that it's like 3 years of our life has been on hold right this is the third year we're stepping into it's like everything has been halted for a second you guys are without your family stranded somewhere in some university you can't find a flight back home you can't afford a flight back home i love you so much and i hope that i see your list and you can write down the list in the comment section below if it's not too personal i i i loved seeing lists um so i love you guys i will see you in the next video okay Mwah. bye